Hi, my name is Kent Lee and I teach computer science at Luther College. In this video I'm going to show you some of the things that can go wrong when you write a program. In fact, programmers when they write programs rarely write a program perfectly the first time. Um, programming is, is an error-prone activity. Uh, and what's key to programming is that when we have an error, we're able to figure out where the error is and correct the error. So it's not about writing perfect programs the first time, but about being able to find the errors that we write, that we uh, create when we write programs, and fix those errors. Um, I have here a program uh, that I talked about in a previous video that computes the width or computes the volume of a solid given the width and the height and the uh, depth of that solid. I've uh, modified it just slightly so that I get input from the user. So the input function here is going to be called in each case uh, to get each of the different values. And we talked about the fact that the input function um, returns a string and we wanted to convert that string to a float in each case, a float being like a real number, so that we can do some arithmetic with it. Strings we cannot multiply times each other, but floats we can. So we're going to take the string that we get back, and we get back a string from uh, this part of the statement. So um, for the width, we would uh, run this when we run this program. It, the program would stop after executing this part of the statement, wait for us to enter um, a value, and press enter at the keyboard. We enter a value, press enter, and that value is returned right here, so in this part that I've highlighted yellow. Um, so whatever value we enter, if we enter 3.2 at the keyboard, um, 3.2 is returned as a string right there. That string is got a float inside of it and so I can call float on that value to get the value out of it um, to get the 3.2 out of that string and into a, a value or a variable in this case width that I can use in arithmetic later and the same is true for height and depth so if I run this program just to see how it works um, it prompts me below please enter the width of the solid, I enter 3.2, press enter, it goes on to the next statement. Um, please enter the height of the of it, 4.8, and please enter uh, the depth of it, um, let's say 6.2. So I end up finding that the uh, volume is 95.232. Now, um, I've written this program, but with any, this is a small program, but with any complexity, I'm likely going to make an error. One of the errors I might make, um, we see lots of parentheses in this program, and one of the errors I might make might be to uh, forget a parenthesis. So if I forgot a parenthesis in this program, first of all, you can see that my program starts to highlight things right after, uh, approximately right after where I forgot the the uh, parenthesis. So Wing is trying to help us here and telling us that we have a syntax error and you can see syntax error um, on the screen there right now. A syntax error means that I have mistyped something, that something uh, in terms of a valid Python program is not correct in my program. Um, if I ignore that and go ahead and click run here, um, up pops a message over here on the right that says I have a syntax error and it tells me a little bit more about it. Um, typically, and you notice here though that the syntax error says that I have an error on the line that says height equals. Height equals is being the, is this line here that's highlighted in pink. So syntax errors don't show up typically on the line where the syntax error occurs. They show up somewhere after where the syntax error occurs. So if you see a syntax error in your program, what you need to do is start with the pink line or the line that is highlighted, but you have to work your way backwards from that until you find the place where uh, the syntax error might, might be happening. So in this case, it just tells us there's a syntax error and there's not much more uh, um, information about it. But we have to search our way backwards then from this pink line to find out that in this case we forgot our parentheses there. So if I fix that parentheses and click run again, the error, the error goes away and I'm ready to go ahead and 
and enter um, some values here to see uh, what my result might be. Um, so that's a syntax here um, with a with a uh, there are other kinds of errors as well. Um, there might, for example, be a what's called a runtime error in your program. Runtime's er runtime errors are usually either some kind of a logic error in your program or they may have something to do with the types of values in your program. So if I got rid of float, for example, on the height here, um, what I'm getting again from input is a string and height will be a string here and we'll see that in just a moment. So I'll go ahead and click run here again and I'll enter some values um, and uh, and then we'll go from from there and so now I have a runtime error and this is over here it shows up as a type error so it's saying type error can't multiply sequence by non int of type float now that is okay that's a it's a good error message and in fact for a runtime error it generally shows up right on the line where the error occurs so unlike syntax errors it's going to highlight exactly where the error occurred in the program but it's a little hard to understand exactly what's going on it might be nice if we could see the values that we were using in this statement and in fact we can in python the program um, wing stops the program right where the error occurred and lets us look at what the state of this program is. And in fact, if I hold the cursor over a variable, I can see what its value is. So I can see here that depth is 3.4 and I can see here that width is 3.2 and if I hold my cursor over height, I see it's 5.7 in quotes. So that tells me something about what the problem is the problem here is that a string is a sequence and I can't multiply a sequence by uh, a non a sequence by a non int or a float um, so or by non int of type float so what this is saying is that uh, that this sequence can't be multiplied times a float it doesn't make any sense to Python there's the times operation is not defined uh, for strings and floats. Okay. Now, if you don't like to look at it that way, you can actually go down here and click on stack data, and you go into locals. Locals might be, it might look like this when you get in there. You can expand locals and look here, and you can see here's three, the 3.4, there's the 5.7, and there's the 3.2. So stack data shows us what these variables are as well, and that can sometimes help us when we're trying to. Uh, trying to debug our programs, trying to figure out what the, the error is. It's important that we always click the debug button when we're running our program because when we do that, then Wing will go ahead and stop our program when we have an error and let us look at the stack data. That's, um, that's enabled by clicking the debug button. So make sure you always click the debug button when you run a program within Wing. Um, and uh, so we've seen two different types of errors here in this video. We've seen syntax errors and we've seen runtime errors. Um, and there are cer certain things called logic errors, which we'll eventually get to as well. Um, but uh, for now, anyway, you've seen uh, some important ways of dealing with it. With a syntax error, again, start with the line where the syntax error occurs, work your way backwards to see if you can figure out what's missing. And with a runtime error, it's generally right on the line, and you can use the stack data to, uh, to go ahead and look at what happens. With a syntax error, you will not have stack data, because with a syntax error, the program actually does not run um, to find the syntax error. The, program, the syntax error is detected before the program runs. So you won't have stack data to look at with a syntax error, but you will with a runtime error.